So you came to Bombay to get a surgery done. Yes, sir. Why did you choose a sigmoid vaginoplasty? Because that gives me a permanent organ which uh, uh, completes my journey of transition and it, en it enhances my confidence and reduces my gender dysphoria and also turns gender dysphoria into euphoria. Awesome. Does it look like how many days we finished the surgery now? So we started on 4th of January and today is uh, 11th of January. 11th of January and I am able to walk, I am able to pass urine, I am able to pass uh, stool very easily. I can sit in um, um, uh, Sukhasan, I can sit in uh, Padmasan and I can uh, do dilation very well. So and you started dilating today? Yes, today I started dilating. You could dilate first, first second. First and second. Yeah. So, yes. so we exercise a little bit of caution. Uh, the dilatation is not required so early, but it gives you a lot of confidence, I gather. So okay. tell me about your confidence about the new organ that you are able to see it. Obviously, the organ is inside, but able to see the opening, you're able to feel it, and then you can put a dilator number one and two. Actually, uh, when this happened, I didn't believe that it can actually happen. I was really uh, in a fear that if I would touch, I would, what is this, what is this? I was even not touching it till I didn't uh, dilate. But the moment I dilated, in fact, before dilation, you know, yesterday when you, uh, you did that finger test, it really made me confident that yes, something has, something is that I really felt, um, I can't express that, what was that feeling actually. But I felt a sensation and that is, I have expressed with my friends also that I am feeling a uh, sensation. So post that, yes, you also told me to maintain hygiene. I, with confidence, I, I was, you know, washing it. And today, when ma'am uh, told me how to dilate, whether you will be able to, then I could. And after dilation, I have felt much more closer to myself, which I wasn't Very feeling good. from all those years. Very good. Very impressed. So looking at it, you know, you chose sigmoid pelanoplasty because you wanted a permanent organ. Right. You could have also chosen the penile inversion technique, but then these are two different techniques with different kind of results and different kind of mindset of patients around. As transgender surgeons, we look at giving you the best of the results. Obviously, you choose and then we handhold the journey of giving you what could be possible. Some people can have a very short shaft and then we cannot give that length of vagina which is aimed at. The same time you have got a sensitive organ that you can feel on day 7, 8 today, right. being day 7, 8 of the surgery. You're able to maintain a hygiene, that's your part. Remember, it's a little sensitive part, you know it so well. The entire area is sensitive, it has got the sensitivity of organs which will give you the sensations for future. You feel complete and empowered as an individual and that is what we were aiming for. So when we aim for this, um, you're going back home tomorrow. We look forward to a very close follow-up in the early days in terms of calibrating and dilating the passage because remember, sigmoid vagina is a vaginal cavity in which we have placed a sigmoid colon on a pedicle which has got a great blood supply. It's got a great blood supply, great sensations, you can feel the exterior part, you put a finger and you maintain a hygiene, you spray and wash and maintain a hygiene. While you do all that, as it gradually changes, the chances that it can contract and dilate. Something which I told you pre-operatively as a part of counseling and as a part of the history taking that this is the important part of a consenting that you know that you have a role to play, that you are in a wonderful journey which is getting more and more sublime and you're reaching that. So not the end of the journey, but a more uh, you know vibrant kind of a situation right now where you feel confident. The calibration and dilatation happens to be a part of an individual. You're not a patient ever. You never were a patient and you're not a patient. But because you undertook this important journey of getting yourself undergoing this very complex surgery, you know, where we have a pedicle attached to a organ which has been placed suddenly in an individual at the age of 25, 27, and this organ will serve the permanency of being aesthetic and functional. We look at it not tightening up. That's the only thing that you have to remember as you go back home from Bombay. You will be doing that calibration which you started more to feel, get the feel about the direction, the size, the aesthetics, the functionality and your own capability of able to put the first and second dilators. The third and the fourth dilators are something which we start putting on the third, fourth week by the time the exterior heals around. You touch and feel and you get more sensations around 
the external part of the organs as created and as designed by you and designed by us and our team out here at the Cook Club and Hospital is only going to give you a lot of you know positive feelings that I'm almost complete. So journey in terms of transitioning towards surgery is complete. It's all about you know hand holding and looking at all that you wanted to do in life is all there. We need to follow up very closely in the early days. So I look at first six to nine months as a very close follow up, which is the way we connect and all. I look at this dilatation happens on a regular basis. The best dilatation obviously is quietus or a male phenomena, but that cannot happen tomorrow. Until that doesn't happen, we are also going to safeguard this organ which has been created by surgeons for you. That's all it is. So while we do a sigma vaginoplasty in trans individuals, in the early days as a salvage procedure and now chosen, like you chose a permanent organ because you knew the nuances of this organ and you know the center which does it for you. The sigma vaginoplasty which is done by us from an open technique to a robotic technique. You underwent an open surgery. How painful is it today on day six, day seven? You're able to walk. No, it's a beard as well. It's getting reviews every day. Do you feel confident about yes, yourself? Much, much you can better. travel back home uh, all alone. by train yes. all alone. Yes. That's nice. Right. Congratulations. So remember, I do sigmoid vaginoplasty also, which I need to highlight for uh, women who are born without a vagina. Very rarely, but frankly, not so rarely. One in 20,000 to 40,000 women sometimes can be born without a vagina or can be born without a uterus and vagina, which is called as MRK syndrome and which is called as vaginal atresia. And they also deserve sigmoid vaginoplasty. Like the open sigmoid vaginoplasty, which you undertook so positively, there's a minimally invasive technique which I do, which is called as a robotic sigmoid vaginoplasty, where we actually, with those robotic ports, go and do everything intracorporeally within the body. So you're left with only four whole scars, like the linear scar you have, which is healing dramatically in the last six, seven days, a similar kind of scar with those holes which gradually heal. So sigmoid vaginoplasty has these two major indications in today's world and it's actually a very strong kind of uh, complex surgery which empowers individuals across the table. So I feel very good that you have chosen it and wish you good luck in life. Thank you sir. And let's hope and pray that you can continue to do well. So follow up will be a requirement and uh, your message to your friends in future would be that they would choose what they want to because today's uh, modern young trans individual, I would not say a patient, is a very empowered individual. He or she knows her rights and knows her body and knows everything and therefore finds herself very capable today with the team and with the family and with the support system that it is. It's also is important that the doctor who does the surgery needs to know the limitations of what surgery he can do. So to choose between sigmoid, vaginoplasty and to choose a penile immersion, a lot of times it's us to examine, look at it and probably take it forward. So having looked at the aesthetic and the function organ created well, it's time for you to undertake a journey back home and wish you good luck in life. Thank you.